guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a book haul on the books i bought in ireland on my trip to ireland i was there for eight days and seven nights and i bought some books in total i bought four books and of course i would buy more if i had more space and like if i wouldn't be worried about the weight of my luggage and also i'm going as you know by now, I'm in Berlin, so I didn't want to buy so many books because then I wouldn't have the time to read them when I was in Portugal and I wouldn't want to like fill my luggage space to come to Berlin and like move abroad just filled with books, like I wouldn't mind it if I had all the, ta all the space allowed possible, but since it's not the case, of course, that's like hypothetical I just bought four books, so I'm going to start with the first one that I bought. It was Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McKinston. I already had this book on my reader from like a year now, but I never had like the opportunity and also like the motivation like enough to read this book. But since the movie came out on August 11 on Amazon Prime, not sponsored, <laughs> I was like, this is the time because August 11, uh, it was the day before I went to Ireland, so it was like, now this is the time that I have to read it because as soon as I arrive in Portugal, I have to see the movie. So I bought this book like, I think on the first day I was there and I was finishing a Colleen Hoover book, but then I just finished it in one or two days and then I started this one right away. I already read it, I finished last week and I was like, I was expecting so more, I didn't like it, I gave it like two stars or three, I don't know, but it's between, between two and three stars for me. I read a lot of good reviews on Goodreads, like it's ranked in like, the rating is like 4.1 stars or something, which is good for Goodreads, like for me, if it's more than four stars on Goodreads, it's a good book. But I didn't like it since the beginning, but then I was like, mm, maybe it's going to be more interesting from like half of the book till the end. It was not. For me, it was not. I thought it was like, I didn't identify with any of the characters, not only the main ones, but also like the other ones, the secondary ones. Also, I didn't connect it with the, like, the relationship, like I think it was not well developed by the writer, like I don't know, it was not profound and it was not like a deep relationship for me. I know it also is like between the, these two type of people like with so much power in the world so they are not together all the time, but still I didn't like the writing, I prefer the movie I watched it this week and I preferred it, even though it's not like a good movie, it's not a good movie, but it's entertaining and for me it was better than the book, so I do not recommend it, sorry, but since it's like so told around the world, maybe you should read it and you have a different opinion than mine. I don't know. The second book I bought was The Troubles. This is a this is a book about the conflicts in Ireland, like Northern Ireland, between the Protestants and the Catholics. If you are aware of the history, of course I'm not the perfect, I'm far from like the perfect person to tell you about this history because I just got into some of the details in this trip and still I don't know a lot of things. I already I already read this one too. These were the only two books I already I already read so far from all the books I bought there. But this one, it's like a short book. It says it's like a short history of the troubles. So it's just like some main events that occurred. I think it's like too descriptive, and since I'm like new to all this history even though i knew this happened and all the ira thing and 
like the killings. I didn't know many details and like how it started or like if it's still going on, how long it was. But even though I'm more aware now, I still think it was like too descriptive for the knowing I have, like the knowledge I have so far. Like if I was like from that nationality, if I was Irish or like, <laughs> if I was Irish, probably I would understand this better because if it's, it's like the same as reading something from Portuguese history, I've been hearing that since I was like in the first grade and now I'm just like new to this and I cannot assimilate everything at the same time. But still I think it was like interesting. I also, it's like buying a book from like the second world war, you know, you just see it's sad. And I don't know if you know this, but Curiosity, you know the song Zombie by the Cranberries. It's about the conflicts and this, if you see the, if you watch the video clip, it's like, it has some clips, like some captions that they also show here in the book because they have some photographs and like in the um, video clip they show a lot of like children in the streets alongside with military forces, like with guns and it's so like shocking. <sighs> there were a lot of things that I was like, oh my god, this is happening so near us and we don't even hear that a lot because it's still happening and it's like almost in peace from 25 years now but still it's not like then it's not they still have a wall dividing both sides of Belfast where were like the main conflict so what the heck we are in like 21st century and we are still having these fights for me it's like mind-blowing and this is Murder in an Irish Cottage by Colleen O'Connor I saw this in a gift shop like a souvenir shop when I went with my parents like to buy things for our relatives and, fa and friends and I saw like books really cheap and they are like new and this was like 3 99 like 4 euros for a book I'm going to get it. There was another one, I think it's from like the same book series or same author or whatever, which was like murder in a library or in, in an Irish library, something. But I preferred the cover of this one. And I was like, yeah, even if it's not good, like it's for funny heroes. And it's like a mystery book. It says that Shavan O'Sullivan is a McDonald Flannery site when he gets a call from his cousin Jane. The two guard a rush from Kilwain to the rural village where Jane and her mother live. They find Jane, who is blind, outside the cottage in a state. Inside, Aunt Helen lies on her bed, dead. A pillow on the floor and a nearby teacup make it clear that she has been poisoned and smothered. Devout believers in Irish folklore, the villagers insist the cottage is cursed, built on a fairy path. It turns out Ellen Delaney was not the first to die mysteriously in this cottage. Although the townsfolk blame malevolent fairies, Siobhan and Magdara must follow the path of a murder, all too human but just as evil. A charming Irish cozy mystery. So, why not? I want to read this. I think I'm still going to read this while I'm in Portugal and that's it, I'm not going to bring it to Berlin, hopefully. And the last book is da -da -da -da, Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I was like counting on buying this one when I was in London because I saw it at the supermarket while I also bought the other books like Colleen Over, Daisy Jones and Six and when I went and to buy like I went one day and then the next day I went there like with the mindset I'm going to buy them now it was out of stock and it was like three or four pounds at the time so I was like of course I'm going to get it and now I had to buy it, buy it for like 11 euros more or less 
and it's still cheaper than Portugal even though it's not translated but I don't think like a translation costs 10 euros because books in Portugal are like 20 euros average or like 18 euros average so what the heck but of course I had to buy this one like I've been wanting to read this for a long time since it's like a TikTok trend, like it's on the book to world and bookstagram world and I just wanted to buy it's like a little thick. I see it like those these were all my four books I bought in Ireland. I'm going to just wrap up and say the name of all of them one more time. Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McKinston, Murder in an Irish Cottage by Caroline O'Connor. The Troubles by Brian Feeney and The Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Scor. So these were all the three books I bought in Ireland. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked I hope you liked like the books I bought there. I know there were not a lot of books, but you know we are on a budget and I'm still a college student and by that i'm going to end the video if you want to follow any updates on my life every day you can follow me on instagram you can also listen to my podcast ravioli podcast it comes out every sunday i've been on a break because there's so many things going on this month like i cannot handle all the pressure around me but it's going to be back in september i love you and we'll see each other in the next video bye